goodness! Hi right, folks, how's it going? The name's Steffi and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Red for the Game Boy Color, right? I hope everyone is good today. Right, so in today's episode we're going to be doing Pokemon Tower. So, we already explored a little bit in terms of this floor, but... I wanted to get to a healing point, but... Yeah, I can't get on our ass. Okay, so... We're just going to explore this floor by floor with some items we can get as well as some trainers we can fight. So let's introduce ourselves then. And hopefully not run into any wild Pokemon. Alright, here we go. Beyond the evil spirit. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing about this place, but we're up against ghost trainers. So yeah. Channel wants to fight. Who you got? Got a girl, sorry. Mm-hmm. Well swing to ghastly. Okay, so we got our cloud in front. So let's see if we can use some rock throws. So make sure you don't use normal attacks, uh, normal type attacks are ineffective against ghosts. And I believe ground attacks are as well. I think you can use almost any element except for fighting. But for the most part, you know, just uh, use your special moves if you know what I mean. Oh, well, that's not too bad. 447 to start off with. Nice. So that's what we're trying to do. We're going to try and get... Some levels for our lower leveled uh, Pokemon. It's going to be pretty cool. Right, so let's go here. Let's face these our trainer. I say, I hope everyone's having a good day. I think I already said that, but you know. I, I mean it whenever. I, I mean it when I say, I hope everyone's having a good day. Kick, kick, kick. Alright. <laughs> Guys. Okay, what do you have? You got one Pokemon. Let me guess. Another Ghastly. Yep. Ghastly. Level 24. I think I will have to do a little bit of level grinding at some point, and that's double edge. I didn't mean to use double edge. So normal type moves are not gonna work. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. And we came confused. Brilliant. And now we're gonna hit itself in confusion. Oh, we're not. Good. Okay, just keep with a rock throw, if possible. I tell you though, Nightshade's a really deadly attack. It really is. It's really strong. Good. Not confused any longer, but we missed. But I don't think it's gonna matter because I think I think our light's gone. That's the thing about Onyx. I do like Onyx, but see if we're up against um, Pokemon do mainly special moves. Yeah, it's not gonna last well. I mean, even though it's got really high defense, its HP pool is atrocious. It really is atrocious. And I don't know why I'm going with Rio because Rio doesn't have a special attack. We need a um, Minicosta. Minicosta and the Ember. It's the only move he has that can attack it. Click. Now, if if Gasly used Lick and Onyx, that would have been live, or quite. But it's not. Alright, let's use some members. It's not gonna do much, but it's something. Besides, we will get our clay back sooner or later anyway. Cool. 241. Cool. Not bad. Alright, defeat channeler. Hmm? What am I doing? Ah, she was possessed. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Right, so just in case I do this, let's do this. Uh, let's switch. Let's just Casper out here then. Casper is a gas, our own ghastly. Which, to be honest, I do want to get a, um, I do want to get a Haunter, which is a second evolution. I don't think I showed a Haunter in the, the last episode, so I'll put a, something in the top right to show you. Anyway, let's use Nightshade. Let's use our own fucking nightshade, huh? Really good move, though. Really good move. Uh, the reason, reason why I do want to haunt it is because the next gym we're going to go to is a psychic type gym. And ghost moves are super effective against psychic moves, so Casper is going to be a power host during that gym. In fact, I don't think there's a lot of type. Actually, I don't think... Is it just ghost types are super effective against psychic, or is it bug? There's something. It might be poison, actually. I don't really remember. Alright, so there's another train up there. Let's go and face her, then. Guys, I want the experience, and I do know there's items that we can get here. Yep, it's a psychic fart. <laughs> don't know what the fuck all that's about. Alright, Chandler wants to fight. Let me guess. Another Ghastly. Yeah, another Ghastly. I think it's just trying to get you used to the um, thing that ghost type Pokemon's all about. I think that's the reason why they've got a ghastly each. Oh shit. Oh, wait a minute. What's Lick? 
Ghost type. Is ghost type super best against ghost? I didn't know that. I didn't know ghost was super effective against its own type. Well, I be. Well, I'll be. Huh? What do you know? Hmm. Interesting. It says on the night shades. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Ah! I'm saved. Mhm. Mm yes, you are. Oh yeah, keep getting sorties again. The ghost can't be identified by the safe scope. Mhm. Mm Which we have. We got an escape rope. Good. That'll help us get out of here, I think. Mm hmm. Save a bit of backtracking at least. Okay, another ghastly. Yeah, so you can. I think you can run into a Hanza here, but it's a very, very um, low chance to encounter it. But for the most part, doing alright so far. And yes, we're getting confused right and stuff, but hey, at least I'm using this Casper. At least I'm using Casper's cannon fodder for now. Just so we can save our PP and HP on other cool stuff. That's just the way I like to play Pokemon. I like to use my lowest level Pokemon. I just use them as cannon fodder and, you know, just work down the list, you know. Not bad. Alright, let's get moving on. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. The encounter rate. Hey, Cubone! Cubone, I didn't think- I didn't know you could run into a Cubone here. Cool, let's catch a Cubone. If we can, that is. Uh, let's use Nightshade. I don't know how much HP the Cubone has, but I think we can get it into the yellow if possible. Yeah, let's have a look. And stop. Good, it's in the red. Bone Club. Yeah, this gonna hurt. Yeah, so far. Ah, so ground is super effective against Ghost. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's switch to Costa. Yeah, it's also Cubon. Nice. Alright, let's go Great Ball. Okay, there we go. The A, B, A, B, A, B. One, two, three, boom. Nice. Alright, Cubon was caught. Sweet. I like Cubon. New Pokedex data will be added for Cubon. Cubon, the lovely Pokemon. One for 14 pounds. Because it never removes a skull helmet, no one has ever seen this Pokemon's real face. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give a nickname to Gubo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> So fucking childish. <laughs> Bone R was transmitted past PC. <laughs> oh, if you do not get the joke, then you have a pure friend, a pure mind, my friend. That's all I can say. And just fucking keep it that way. <laughs> all right, another encounter. What do we have? <laughs> another ghastly. <laughs> <laughs> well, saying that, oh, actually saying that, I was actually going to call Ghastly as in, um, Ghastly? Yeah, I was going to call him Astley, actually, as in, like, Rick Astley. Alright, let's do some members. Is the only move that can hit him? Confuse Ray? Mm hmm I need to, um, also what I need to do is I need to switch some Pokemon around as well. Because I need to get drippy some levels, I think. Because it needs to get Drippy ready for the seventh gym, I believe. The seventh gym is a fire gym, if I remember. So having a water type is just good. He curse for me, qua! All right, how many you got? Two Pokemon this time. All right, well, both Gastly's, possibly. <laughs> yep, Gastly. I think this is the only place you can run into Channelers, I believe. I might be mistaken, but I'm sure it is. Very nice, quick quick. My shade. Mm -hmm. Let's wait for health. Should be what? 75? Look at that, huh? I can do math if I want to. Alright. Get paralyzed. Ah, easy. Back of me is itchy. There we go. Alright. Not bad experience. Should be leveling up soon. That's what I hope. Another gaslight. Nope. We'll keep cost right. Hey, as much time 
as much. I want Arcanine to get as much screen time as possible, is what I was about to say. Honestly, my my speaking overall has been really bad these last few videos. I really have. I don't know, I think I might be uh, falling off. You know, I might be falling out the commentator's um, standards, I think. I don't know. I think, I think the problem is with me is, I think I try and speak too much. Maybe just, I don't know, maybe just stop talking once in a while and actually think before I speak, maybe. Honestly, you'd be surprised, like, how hard it must be for a commentator to come up with topics on the spot or something. You see, you've got two different, well, from what I see, you've got two different types, well, maybe three different types of commentators, actually. As far as I know. You've got the... You got the play-by-play -play commentator that will commentate on what's happening on the screen, right? So, for example, okay, we've got cost to use an ember. Let's see what this does. Okay, so gonna kill the ghastly. It killed the ghastly. Brilliant, right? So they do play-by-play. So you know, read every single line. Cost against 285 experience points, which I've been doing, right? You also have the rambling commentators, commentators that talk any topic they possibly can, which, to some degree, I kind of fall under that. I do talk some some bollocks sometimes. I really do. But, hoo hoo hoo, beat me not. So, but these kind of tom commentators, um, they're actually really good at their art because they have a lot of stories to talk about. Like, for example, like if, like if we're taking Pokemon, for example, it'll be like, oh, you know, the Zoom Girl Ghastly was blah, 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 of the blah, 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 you know, come spitting facts and then they can move on to something else and keep the viewer engaged with a lot of stuff. And then the third commentator, which is more of a rarity, is the actual, um, I would say, just the, it's hard to explain, kind of like a mixture of A and 1 and 2, but actually, um, keep quiet 60% of the video and actually, and only talk when appropriate, which, for the most part, is, uh, depending on the viewer who's there, for the, it depends on the viewer, if the viewer is there for the gameplay, and they like the commentator not talking all that much. That's a good thing, I guess. But very rarely do you get that, I believe. Anyway, cost of group's all 30. Um, easy free attack, 66 defense, 68 speed, 58 special. So, it's kind of hard, like, why I come under, you know? Who, who, what? I don't know. I guess to some degree, I'm kind of like a mixture of 1 and 2, I think, you know? Especially with this playthrough, I have been. So, yeah, maybe I just need to slow down my sp Actually, yeah, I need to slow down my speaking. That's one of the problems. <sighs> I wouldn't say it's a problem with me per se, but it's definitely a problem for my uh, my upbringing because, you know, I'm Scottish if anybody's not noticed by now. But we, the Scottish, we do tend to talk really fast. My, um, my mother speaks really fast. Uh, my grandmother speaks really fast as well, because we're both Scottish, and half the family's Scottish, half the family's English. So, um, uh, um, so, you know, we do kind of speak like a machine gun, you know? Uh, sure, should wing attack, should hit. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, you know, I think that's what puts a lot of people off for my videos, is I do talk relatively fast, and... Over the, yeah, over the last couple of years, well, actually, it'll be my second year anniversary next month, so, yeah, it'll be my two-year anniversary next month. Um, over the months, I have learned to slow my speaking down, but every now and then, I do tend to go, <laughs> I tend to go supersonic. <clears throat> Especially if I'm pissed about something, you know? But for the most part, I'm trying to slow down, actually pronounce my words properly, and actually think before I speak. So I'm trying to do at least. That's what I'm trying to do. Do I succeed all the time? Not really. Not really. I'm more of a failure than anything, but nah, I'm not a failure, but you know. I'm learning. I'm still learning. Like, yeah, I've been doing this for a good chunk of time now, but fuck. There's a loads of things I'm learning. Loads of things. But, you know. It's all about, it's all the game, it's all about the game at the end of the day. It's all about the game, how you play it. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to please everybody, so you might as well please the ones that you can. Alright, 
let's get this guy down then. Confused? Really? <laughs> Christ. And also, there's another thing as well. Um, when it comes to my commentary as well, I don't force things. Not anymore. I used to force things. When I first started out. Just because I didn't know um, how to act or what to say. But at least 9 times out of 10, it's all natural now. So, you know, just be yourself. Just be yourself, but as long as you keep your basic fundamentals of keep a nice volume level with your microphone and your voice, um, make sure you pronounce your words properly, regardless of what language you speak, and um, just make sure the viewer understands what you're saying, and be expressive and, I guess, passionate to some degree, but make sure you're expressive with your words so you know what thoughts and feelings you want to give to the viewer. Christ, look at me being a fucking coach on how to commentate well. <laughs> maybe if I had a few K subscribers, maybe I would, but Christ, I'm only small. It's literally that famous quote of, practice what you preach, father. It literally is. I wonder if Frybird will uh, evolve this, this episode. It would be nice. It would be nice. Alright, and I've not even been reading the tags as well. Where's the ghost? Oh, ghost. So just 24 winning, thank you. Alright, I'm sure. Yep, there's an item down here. Ugh, come on, bro. It's guarded by a ghastly. Uh, who would have known? Alright, well, ghastly appeared. Okay. Firebird, brilliant. Yeah, there's um, there's a healing point coming up soon. Basically, a free Pokemon Center, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a free Pokemon Center. Fucking every Pokemon Center is free. Which really does strike the conversation of um, how the hell does the Pokemon Center get funded in the first place? That's a good question. Because you've got Nurse Jenny. Nurse Jenny. Fucking. Yeah, Nurse Jenny. Yeah, Nurse Jenny off destroy. Yeah. You got Nurse Jenny, right? Fucking healing up Pokemon, giving it medication, and this, this, and this. But the question is how the hell do Pokemon Centers across the regions get the funding from? That's something that's never been addressed in the series. Absolutely nothing. Alright, let's go to the next floor now. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, see the white squares there? Mm-hmm. There's a heal point. So yeah. Because it doesn't strictly say. Actually, does it? Because I'm just thinking, right at the beginning of the Pokemon anime, you have um you have Ash being chased by a flock of Spearow because um, Pokemon electrocuted one of them and they all chased him. And they got to the Pokemon Center and I'm sure Ash says, Nurse Jenny, please help Pikachu, but I haven't got any money. Maybe. I don't know. I might be wrong with that. Come, child. I sealed this space with white magic. Who can rest here? So, yeah, so you step on. Do 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 do. Enter Purified Protection Zone. Deathy's Pokemon are fully healed. Mm hmm. Good. Right, another Pokemon fight. So yeah, so everyone's back on the beat. Zombies! <laughs> Zombies? Really? Christ. Cheers, by the way. Hmm. General wants to fight. Let me guess, a Ghastly? Yeah, it's a Ghastly. Okay, go Arclight. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Arclight can redeem himself, eh? Arc throws. Oh, it's a miss. Nice shade. I'm telling you, if, if Onyx had a, be a better HP pool, it would be so much better. It really, really would be. Ugh, paralyzed, of course. There's the rock throw. Okay, that's half health. Alright, do you want to... Actually, can you be paralyzed and confused? You can be paralyzed and confused. Holy shit, I didn't know that. So I shouldn't do that much. No, I don't. Come on, Arclight. Say, dude. Come on. Oh, I really want to like Onyx. I really want to like Onyx. He does have a very interesting evolution in the next game, however. Um, in Gen 2, I think I already talked about um, a couple of new uh, Pokemon types. There's Dark type and Steel type. Um, Onyx can evolve into a Steel-type Pokémon called Steelix, but it's a very interesting way of doing it because in Gen 2, they introduced um, they introduced a hold mechanic for the fucking hell. 
they introduced a, um, a mechanic called the hold mechanic, where basically you can give items to your Pokemon to hold for um, different stuff. For example, like if you give them such an item, it'll power up fire type moves, or you give them an item and make them act first in battle, for example, right? Um, there's an item called the mirror coat, I think it's called, or the steel coat. And basically, you give Onyx that to hold. I think it's supposed to be like a razor defense, but once you get to a specific level, that's when Onyx can evolve into a Steelix. Let's take a picture in the top right if I'm not already said. I've already done it by now. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Speaking of a child in the corner for now. 20 minutes? Fucking hell. I really want to get this Pokemon Tower done tonight. Yeah, we will do. Okay, Haunter, that's the level two. Level two. Second evolution of Gaston. Alright, let's get some members. I don't think it's going to do much. Respectable. Fuse Ray. Jesus Christ, man. Get confused. Let's do some more members. So, yeah, so I do want to get a um, Haunter, possibly. That's why I want to level um, Costa. Not Costa. Casper, sorry. Cool. Bungie Night 4. Brilliant. Alright, channel. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Such a six for one. Cool. Alright, let's, uh, let's get healed up and then we can carry on our way then. Yes, yes, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know. Okay, I think there's a. Uh, have we already been up here? I think so. Nope. Hello. Hello. Chat. Join us. Hello. Show join us. <laughs> Can you imagine if um, Gandalf said that so you shall not pass. <laughs> Alright, no ghastly. Alright, Arc Light. Here we go, dude. Nope, oh, there's a miss. Light. As long as it likes and doesn't use fucking night shades, it's all good. Oh, God, it's paralyzing. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we've got to do some leveling. See that though, um... I think... Actually, I don't think there's any time when Rock or Brad Time Pokemon become... ...good again. Not good again, but like useful in a gym or something. Possibly the... ...sixth gym, maybe. That might be something. Maybe the sixth gym. Well, I might as well heal up again while we're here. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Alright, let's uh Yeah, let's bring it forward and then we can go around. Give me your soul. <laughs> I'll swallow your soul. 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 <laughs> swallow this. <laughs> evil Dead 2. Fucking love Evil Dead. See now I've not played Evil Dead and I've not played it. I've not watched. Evil Dead in a very long time. I'm gonna have to fucking watch it again. I'm really gonna have to. Nice shade. Oh, it's gonna hurt. We donk. Alright, good, actually landed. Hmm, not much. Come on. There we go. That's twice. One arc. Get us confused, Ray. Come on, dude. Once, twice, three times. Fuck. Always on the third time. Always on the third time. Oh, do you know that reminds me of XCOM season one. Yeah. So, in um, I did an ex uh my very first playthrough I did on YouTube. Uh, no, well, modern playthrough. I guess. Um, like you know what started the the daily uploads. I did SCOM Season 1, right? Ah, oh, finally! Uh, Arclight like creates level 25, 37 attack, 88 defense, 50 speed, 23 special. Nice. Trying to learn Rage. Yes! Rage is decent. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, let's get rid of Bide. We don't need it. Um, yeah. In SCOM Season 1, there was um, a character that we got. Uh, I can't remember the full name, but I know the nickname was Judge, right? Um, basically, he was a sniper. And one of the things I tried to do 
was a little something called judge, jury, and executioner. But basically, if you shot one guy or killed one guy, it's judge, jury, and executioner. And I was trying to get after the longest fucking time, and I remember him missing like a good three times, like all together, and he just started piss me off. <laughs> he got it eventually, but you know, too little, too late by then. Give me that. Mm -hmm. Okay, free book on this time. Shit. All right, ghastly. Mhm. Mm Ooh, arc light. At least we got rage, dude. Mhm. Mm All right, let's keys of rock throw. I don't think arc light's gonna survive the rest of the uh, tower. Holy crap! A critical hit. <laughs> I take it back, dude. That was literally you giving me the f you, right? Okay, let's uh, switch to. All right, switch to ghastly. Okay. One. Let's go arc throw. Oh, let's go for another rock throw. Over the ocean! And... Oh. Damn it. Yeah. Ah, good night, my friend. Okay, who's next in the... Okay, Casper. Oh, we might get Casper a couple levels for here. But... I need to use a nice shade, that's the case, then. Oh, mm hmm Usually. Okay, slick. I hate confusion. I really fucking do. But I can't be asked with your Pokemon. I'd rather just take the random chance. Yeah, I'd rather just take the random chance to just switch Pokemon. Hmm. Don't know if you can hear that, but there's the blues and twos. The, uh, the sirens. We get a lot of sirens past the house um, the last uh, the last year or so. Fuck's sake, dude. Alright. Alright, let's go Ember. And I'll re-race some Pokemon in a second. Give us some obvious a bit of screen time if possible. Okay, let's keep using Ember. <laughs> Burned. Nice. Yeah. I think this is going to be a, a decently sized upload, I think. We might as well. We might just do the Pokemon Tower in one go. I don't like... Uh, I mean, like, for the older games, I don't like doing, like, you know, our episodes. I mean, like, the other day when we were doing um, the Game Corner Team Rocket Hideout, that was 45 minutes. That was a bit long for me. You know, I like to keep these roughly around 20-30 minutes, but... You know, might as well. I might as well just do this one shot. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, let's get the item. There's a... There's a... X accuracy. Nice. I've already got a few of them in the bank. Alright, let's keep moving. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright, one Pokemon. That was a ghastly. Oh, who would have thought? We're doing all right. We are doing fine. Still does a lot of damage for the Nightshade. I'm telling you, Nightshade's, Nightshade's a really powerful move. Just because, as a reminder, Nightshade is fixed. It does the same amount of damage as the Pokemon's level that uses it. So for example, if you have a Pokemon that has really high defense, Onyx, for example, I mean, that's a perfect example, high, like, physical defense or high special. You know, it just cuts through that. It just it completely ignores it, just does fixed damage. It's so powerful. Oh, for fuck's sake. Another ghastly. Come on, show us something else, huh? Okay, let's go, Ember. Just thinking the other day, I'm thinking I should use the um, I should use the daycare sensor again to maybe, maybe raise the levels of one of our Pokemon. So I'm thinking about it, but it's just too much money, especially if I forget as well. I remember once, I don't think I mentioned it in this playthrough yet, but I remember using the daycare sensor in this game and I leveled up a Pokemon, but I completely, off, I completely forgot about it, right? Just one of those things you forget. And I think I dropped it off as soon as it was available. I think it was like level 12, right? And I completely forgot it. 
You know, it's a level 100 by the end of the game. Level 100 by the end of the game. I completely forgot about it. It cost me, I think it's 100 per level. So it cost me about, ah, about 100,000. <laughs> I know. Anyway, five bird, level 32, 52 attack, 48 defense, 61 speed, 43 special. Cool. And unfortunately, no level. Uh, no evolve, sorry. Oof. Yeah, we're doing alright so far. We are doing. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. So that was the fight. Mm hmm. Ghastly. Man, I really want to get Pidgeot. So cool. Such a great Pokemon, in my opinion. Fuck's sake. I need to get, um, I actually need to get Rio leveled up, is what I need to do. Just because Rio is going to be so helpful in a lot of different situations coming up soon. Alright, Fade Channel. Sweet. Something fell out. <laughs> what fell out? Your marbles? Alright, let's see. We get a rare candy. Sweet. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use that now, actually. I'm going to use that now. In fact, I'm going to use them real. Level 27, 47 attack, 70, 40 defense, 76 speed, 73 special. Quick attack, I'll take it. Cool. Okay, I think. Okay, so coming up here, this is where you need the slice scope. If you do not have the slice scope, you cannot get up these stairs, and I'll show you why. Not here, not this. You had to ruin the fucking show, didn't you, Rick? Mm-hmm. That's an absolute tool case. Oh, no, 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 we're killing you tonight. We're killing you now. Good night. Fucking Ashley. Alright, this is what I mean. Be gone. Be intruders. I don't know why you sound like Dan Jensen all of a sudden. Yep, ghost appeared, but with a slice go and feel the ghost's identity. It is a... Marowak. Well, Marowak appeared. This is the only time in the game you come across a Marowak. A Marowak is a second evolution of a Cubone. So, if you want a Marowak and you're not going to Cubone, this is a one-time thing. You can save Scum. Uh, actually, I advise doing it, but... We got a Cubone, it will eventually level up to be a Marowak, but if we can get a Marowak at level 30, that's not too bad. Now, we do have the advantage because I do believe you use ground type moves, and I think ground type moves are non effective or doesn't affect um, fine types at all, so we'll just do what we do. Um, focus energy raises the critical hit rate of the next attack, but because we're flying, it's not going to do much. But we'll try and catch a Marowak if possible. I think, I think one more will do, I think. No, we'll, we'll keep it like this. Alright, she's our great ball. Let's see if we can catch her. Oh! This Pokemon can't be caught. Okay. Because it's a ghost. That's why. So we have to fight it. So yeah, so consider this like a little mini boss, I guess. Hmm, okay. 531 experience. The ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. There was a little bit of um, dialogue where it said um, Team Rocket killed the Cubone's mother. Um, there is actually a sad bit of information regarding Marowak. For a Cubone to evolve to a Marowak, it has to wear the skull of its mother. Yeah, that's why it's called the Lonely Pokemon. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? And this is where we want to be. Hello, Rocket. What do you want? Why are you here? We're here to rescue somebody, I believe. Yeah, that's the whole point we're up here. We're here to rescue someone. That's it. Alright, so tell us you about. Go Frybird. Yeah, this is going to be the Frybird shop. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know um, you couldn't catch a Marowak. I'm sure you could. Hmm. I'm sure you could catch a Marowak. 
well, obviously not. I mean, the evidence was there, right there, then. But... I'm a little annoyed. I want to get Marowak. Marowak's decent. I do want to get a... Um, I do want to get right. We've already seen a Rhyhorn. We already know what it looks like. Rhyhorn and its evolution, Rhydon, are full fucking ground type moves. And I'm just thinking if I want a ground type for the end game. Seeing that though, I don't even know who I want for the end game. I do have a idea of who I want. But for the most part, it's going to be um gonna be hard to choose. There is certain Pokemon that I do need. I do need Gyarados. That's the whole reason why I got Gyarados. Gyarados is powerful, I do want to get Gyarados. Um I definitely want Costa on the team. Definitely want Costa on the team. Um, oh yeah, we got Gold Bat, the um, <laughs> the evolution of um, Zubat. I know, look at it, eh? Fucking hell. It's gonna eat you up. Um, I definitely want Rio, Jolteon. Definitely, that'll be useful. Um, I'm just trying to think. I need. I think I need Drippy on the team, actually. Because I need somebody that can use Ice Beam. But then again, I could give Nyx an Ice Beam, actually. Okay, Fiber Grid's level 33, 53 attack, 50 defense, 63 speed, and 45 special. 50 beat rocket, mm hmm. I give up. 750, and no evolution just yet. I'm like, where to get this? Alright. No worries. Alright, next one. This old guy came and complained about us harming us, useless Pokemon. We're taking it over as adults. Talking it over as adults, alright. Okay, two Pokemon, what do you got? Nothing. Do you know, all this time I was kind of thinking about um, playing the yellow version of this uh, of this Gen 1. Just because um, just because that has some extra dialogue in regarding with the anime because Gen 1 is based off the first season of the anime to some degree. So I was kind of thinking about it. Oh, actually, speaking of which, um, I was watching something today. Um, it's not my usual program. But here in the UK, we have something called uh, the BBC Proms, which is um, it's like classical music, right? Um, I'm not a lover of classical music myself, personally. I'm not a lover whatsoever, but I do appreciate it. But there was one particular episode of it where they did um, gaming music. And I'm only about halfway through it. It's like an hour and 45. And they've covered some really good tracks up to now. They've done um, Kronos. What else have they done? They've done the Legend of Zelda theme, and they've done a medley between uh, Pokemon, uh, Secret Mana, and Echo the Dolphin. So yeah, so they're going from like 80s to modern times of like some of like the most popular themes and shit. So yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> it's a good watch. It really is a good watch. You can probably find it on YouTube if you just put, I don't know, BBC Proms, BBC Proms, it's a P-R-O-M-S, and just put gaming music or something, you might see a few, um, few videos on it. Pokemon are only good for making money. Stay out of our business. Mm -hmm. Alright, and final one. You're not saving anyone, kid. I'd like to differ. Nobody calls me kid. <laughs> Zubat. Yeah, Frybird's pretty much just carrying us on his wings right now. That is all cool. It should be done soon. Yep, yeah, let's attack. Let's see if he can get one more, uh, one more, one more win before he goes down. Which is 6-5, nice. Okay, let's use Rattata. Full Silas Pokemon! Focus Energy. <laughs> Your mistake, Ratata. Your mistake. Good night. Okay, so 280. Got to use Raticate. Alright. What's that? There's one big rat. Let's see what? Okay. Curse just finished me off by now. Yeah, there we go. Just putting salt to the wound, giving me a glimmer of hope. Alright, Nixon, here you go. Okay, let's uh actually do you know what? I'm gonna replace pound with I with uh, ice beam, I think. Nixon will be my um 
mice beam. Yeah. Dixon is kind of like my uh, special use Pokemon, special attacker. Okay, punch is only one. Want to use Zubat? Nope. Oh, I use a bubble beam. Let's use Pound. I need to get rid of Pound. Pound's weak, no. He says. <laughs> he says indeed. Yeah, but Zubat's weak anyway. Alright, okay, nice. Cool. Give me Zubat Fated. 265. Go. Cool. Don't fight us, Rockets! Go on, we'll go off. You're not getting away with this. Mm -hmm. And this is who we wanted to save. Mr. Fuji. Ah, you come to save me. Mm. What am I doing here again? <laughs> Thank you, but uh, I came here of my own free will. I came to come soul of uh, Kibble's mother. I think Marowak spirit has gone to the afterlife. Uh, I was thanking you for your great concern. Follow me to my home. Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so Mr. Fuji is who he wants it. Delphi, uh, the Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. Received a Poke Flute. Very important. Upon hearing Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works in all sleeping Pokemon. As your hint. This is needed to get to the southern... Well, I mean, I don't think I've got it on me. Do I have a town map? No, I don't. Mr. Fuji's in the way for the town map, actually. Basically, uh, this item lets you um, awake Snorlax. So we can actually get to the southern city star. But also, if your Pokemon is asleep in battle, you can use the Poke Flute and you can wake up your own Pokemon. It's pretty nice. Alright, so before we end today's episode, uh, do I have it? I do. Make sure you either have a soda pop, fresh water, or lemonade. Because we're going to the next city. And I believe you have to do Pokemon Tower first in order to get access to the next dungeon that we need to do. Our business with Team Rocket is not over yet. We've got one last hurrah to do against them. So we'll do that in the next episode. And it's going to be a long one. I'll tell you that one now. Alright, here we go. Hello. Whoa, boy, I'm parched. Huh? Can I have this drink? Gee, thanks. Mm hmm. Glug, glug. Glug. Ugh, if you want to go to Saffron City, you can go on. I'll share this with the other guards. Yeah. No wonder he's fucking parched. He's doomed to stay in the one spot for all his life. <laughs> but anyway, here we are in Saffron City. Mm hmm. Oh, there's a rocket running here. What's going on? Ow. Which way you're walking? Okay. Right, I think the gym's up here. Oh, can I go in the gym? Why can't we go to the gym? Get out of the way. Okay. There's two gyms? What the fuck? Fighting Dojo. Alright. What's this one? Saffron City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Sabrina. The Master of Psychic Pokemon. Yeah, that's right. There's two gyms in this one. The one on the right is the official gym, that's the one that we need to beat to progress the game. This one's just an optional one. So yeah, the entire town is riddled with um, Team Rocket. Alright, anyway, I need to go and find a Pokemon Center. I think the Pokemon Center is somewhere. But yeah, we'll explore uh, we'll explore Saffron City. The next oh, we just passed it. Yeah, we'll explore Saffron City in the next, um, the next episode. So yeah, so yeah, Saffron City is like the big city of the game, if you know what I mean. We heal your Pokemon back to for health, yep. Get your Pokemon, mm-hmm. Thank you, your Pokemon are fine fit. We hope to see you again, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, so my friends, that's going to be it for today's episode. So in the next episode, we're going to have a look around Saffron City, see what the fuck is going on with Team Rocket, and we'll see if we can sort the problems out, hopefully. If not, then, hey, we can call it a play for that. Nah, we'll, we'll be him. We'll be him. So yeah, my friends, so please leave a like on today's episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Link's down below. Check them out if you wish. 